Hi guys, Seth here from Kali's Doi Muay. Today we are at the Kali's Doi Muay Drive Roadshow Merdeka Edition in conjunction with the launch of the new section of the IOI City Mall in Putrajaya. So there are many cars on display today, but this is one of the highlights. This is the new 2022 Renault Zoe EV. Okay, for the new 2022 Renault Zoe, there will be two different variants that will be coming to Malaysia. You have the base Zoe Zen R110 and then you have this, the Zoe Intense R135. But the main highlights for both models are its full LED headlight setup with very cool looking C-shaped DRLs. I'll show you. Okay, since the Renault Zoe is a full EV car, the next obvious question is how do you charge it? Now, I'll be glad to inform you that the Renault Zoe supports both AC and DC fast charging and these are fitted as standard. For the AC fast charging, it supports up to 22 kilowatts, meaning that if you want to charge it from 0 to 100%, it will only take you 3 hours. But if you're connected to a more modest uh, I think 7.4 if I'm not mistaken or 9.4 kilowatt uh, that will take you about nine and a half hours but if you want some fast charging there is a fast uh, charging port the CCS2 and that supports up to 50 kilowatts so if you're connected to a 50 kilowatt DC fast charger that will only get you from 0 to 80 percent in just 70 minutes but if you're in a hurry lah, for example you only have half an hour 30 minutes will get you an extra 145 kilometers added to your range. How cool is that? Okay, there are a number of differences between the Zoe Zen R10 and then the Zoe Intense R135. In terms of looks, the only thing that you can tell is the wheel design. Now, both are fitted with the same 16-inch diameter wheels, but this one, the Zoe Intense, comes with the diamond cut design. Now, the other one is a different design. It's also alloy wheels, but this one seems to have a much nicer, more premium look, uh, befitting for the range-topping Renault Zoe. Alright, another way to tell the difference between the Zoe Zen R110 and the Zoe Intense R135 is the color options. Now, based on the specs that were given by Renault Malaysia for the base Zoe Zen, it only comes in two different color options. You have the black and then you have the solid white. And then for the Zoe Intense, there are actually four, but there are more vibrant colors. You have black, blue, red, and purple. But this is none of those colors. This is actually the grey and we're not still uh, we're still not sure whether this color will come to Malaysia but yeah this is the one on display today and we've also been told that specs may vary once the car arrives here in Malaysia okay apart from the different color options and the different wheel designs there is also one very big factor that determines the difference between the Zoe Zen R110 and then the Zoe Intense R135. Now looking at the names itself, you will find that the engine or the electric motor has a different output capacity. For this one, the Zoe Intense, it produces 135 PS just like the name R135 and 245 Newton meters of torque. Now if you want to opt for the base model, the Zoe Zen R110, that one produces 110 PS with 225 newton meters of torque. Slightly lower, but there's another difference when you look at that later. So there is a slight difference when it comes to the power and torque output between the Zoe Intense and the Zoe Zen model. But the battery pack for both models are actually the same. So they are fitted with the 52 kilowatt hour battery pack, which provides a WLTP cycle range of about 386 kilometers for the Zoe Intense, but if you want a slightly longer range, you can opt for the Zoe Zen, which has a WLTP cycle of 395 kilometers. So not bad for a little Zoe like this.
Okay, if you're still not sure on which model to get, whether the Zoe Zen or the Range Talking Zoe Intense, you'll be happy to know that the main equipment within the car of both models are actually the same. You still get the same 10-inch customizable color driver screen and then you also get the 7-inch uh, touchscreen center display for both models and both models also come with Apple CarPlay, Android Auto and a total of 6 speakers. But there are differences between the two models. For example, we are in the Zoe Intense right now. It comes with the uh, fabric slash leather uh, combination upholstery whereas in the Zoe Zen you only get fabric seats and then you also get automatic climate control for the AC you don't get that in the Zoe Zen uh, electrochromic uh, rear, rear view mirror and then you have folding side mirrors and at the back you also get a couple of USB chargers now these are the things that are exclusive for the Zoe Intense which you don't get in the Zoe Zen Last but not least, the pricing. Now, Renault Malaysia has estimated the price for the Zoe Zen at 163,000 ringgit, whereas this one, the Zoe Intense, the range to topping model will set you back at around 175,000 ringgit. Now, but this is only the estimated pricing. We're guessing that once the car, the actual car comes in, you may have uh, varying things in terms of specs and as well as pricing. So if you want to know more, you can head over to Kalis.my You will find all the information regarding the Renault Zoe over there Or you can come here at the Kalis.my Drive Roadshow Medica Edition at the new section of the IOI City Mall Now this will be happening from the 25th until the 28th of August So I'll see you guys here with the Renault Zoe as well as the other cars on show Ciao!